Hey, Mama, what are you doing? Hey, Becalyn. Just getting ready for camping, so I'm digging through my kitchen stuff. So you're going to be gone again? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so I can show you what's in here. Okay. Yeah. And you're just in time for coffee because I was making coffee too. Good. I'm ready for coffee. This is really cool. Are, what's all this in here? Well, this is a, a new chuck wagon cook kit. Oh. And in this drawer, well, in the back, I have uh, the paper plates and uh, uh, plastic tubs. We use paper plates because we like to camp in the desert. And you know, sometimes water is a premium. Yeah. So that's why we use paper plates. But other so, than that, and then back here we have um, instant coffee. We keep instant coffee around because in the summer we make iced coffee. Oh, I like iced coffee, yeah. especially summertime. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. So this is your outdoor kitchen. This is an outdoor kitchen. Right. Yep. So um, this is like your pantry? Yep. This one is, uh, yeah, my pantry with the... Um, seasonings and you know um we also always keep on hand these things um oh because they don't need refrigeration right and they have a long shelf life so i always make sure i have a couple in here that's a good tip. in case we <laughs> run out of milk out of our fridge okay yeah so i got salt and pepper in here and show you Oh, oh, and so I see so that so you have all these like in a crate. So when you're cooking, you can just pull the whole crate out and use your seasonings and stuff. So mm -hmm. you yeah. have your cooking oils. Yeah. And I always keep a uh, good olive oil because it's really good. I, I don't For buy um, salad dressing. I always make my own. And sometimes just olive oil, like on avocado, mm -hmm. and salt and pepper. Oh, that's so good. Um... And this mm. stuff is really good. I use it on almost in, in everything. Beer. The taijin. <laughs> Ta tahin? That's really good on fruit. Yes. On Refreshing. Man on mango, it's really good. And in beer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sesame oil. Yeah. What do we use that for? Hot sesame oil. Because I always mm. add um, Tabasco to my sesame oil, so this is hot sesame oil. Ooh. I use it in stir fries or, you know, like we, how we love our dry noodles, Yep. fried noodles. A little goes a long way with sesame oil. Yep, just mm -hmm. a... And what else? Oh, a powdered ginger and um, powdered garlic. Because I find when you're camping, mm -hmm. um, I like to use fresh, but when you're camping, the powder lasts longer. Oh yeah, so shoyu, sugar, ginger, garlic, yeah. chili pepper, sesame oil. Yes. <laughs> you can make anything with those ingredients. Yep, and here's my container of rice. Okay. And a bag, small bag of flour. Oh, and speaking of rice. What kind of rice do you guys use? Um, what do you call it? Medium grain rice? Medium grain. Yep. So sticky rice. Okay. In this side. Oh, okay. This is all the pots and pans for mm -hmm. cooking. Okay. Pots and pans. And my latest. Oh, so cute. This is a mini rice cooker. What? Yeah. It makes just enough for your dad and I. I'll show you how cute oh, the little. Oh, it looks like a toy. It's so cute. <laughs> this is a cup. Aww. Look at the little scooper. Oh my gosh. The little sakushi. Yeah. It's so a 12 volt, so I plug it right into one of the uh, solar you could use generators. This to eat. Wait. Uh -huh. <laughs> so this is 12 volt, mm -hmm. so it runs off your guy's battery. And it draws about uh, 110 watts. Takes about 20 minutes to cook. 
the oh, rice. Same like a regular rice cooker or cooking on, on stove. a stove, which normally I do, but having this frees up the uh, your one burner for my one burner your to, other thing. Yeah, Oops. your stir fry. And this goes on the top. You can put something in here to heat up while your rice is cooking. Mm, okay. Yeah. And I've made cake in here. Oh, in you a, can bake in it. In a regular size rice cooker, I've also made giant pancakes for the mm. girls. They thought it was weird, but it was good. So where's your stove? This is the stove. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then this comes out. Oh. And goes across. See the burner attached to the tank? Mm -hmm. Oh, I see. And that goes right in that hole there. It fits right up against, and this just drops right in? Yep. This drops right in. Wow. The control is under here, so you light it. This is a nice countertop. Countertop. And you guys have your cutting boards, which also double as a uh, TV tray for your lap. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And you have all this other storage space mm -hmm. and extra canned goods up there. Oh, and here's your coffee. Oh, thank <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah. And then in that wire bin, uh, we have some oh, extras for, for emergencies or mm -hmm. if we run out of fresh. Oh, I see like some MRE type of foods. Mm -hmm. so always and good to pasta. have on here. We always have uh, pasta and pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. uh, cans of chili, because chili and rice go together yes. so nice. Yes. And, um, you know, spam and extras. That's one thing that when we go camping, that is my job is to figure out, figure out what to cook. Mm -hmm. What's going to need refrigeration? What's going to fit in the cooler? What canned goods can we use? So that's a good mix of stuff, spaghetti sauce, chili, mm -hmm. canned vegetables. And having the uh, fridge in the trailer now, mm -hmm. um, that's why we have our fresh vegetables because you like, dad grumbled, I don't like canned vegetables. <laughs> I don't either. So, <laughs> so They are convenient, but I'd rather have fresh. <laughs> yeah, so there we keep, I keep all the fresh vegetables and fruits and our milk and his beer and mm -hmm. whatever else needs refrigerated cheese. We eat a lot of um, cheese and apples and um, quick, um, quick snacks, mm -hmm. healthy snacks. Yeah. So this is a, I cook, I really like it. Cause yeah. um, convenient having a hatch because you're covered, mm -hmm. you're protected. And before we had this, we were always setting this stove up on a bumper and cooking oh, on yeah. the bumper. Usually we just stop when we stop to make coffee, mm -hmm. you know. But this is nice. At least we look more uh, civilized. So good things to have on hand when traveling is paper plates, paper bowls, plastic utensils, because where you guys like to go, water is scarce. Mm -hmm. Water is like premium and you don't want to waste it washing dishes, right? right? So it's just easier to have those kind of things mm -hmm. um, on hand. And because you guys are always camping remote, it's not easy to just get in the car and drive to go get more water and mm -hmm. come back. It's It could be 20 miles of dirt road. Yeah, to the next and water. We always keep careful tabs on the amount of water we have mm -hmm. because of that. Yeah. Water and gas is uh, crucial. <laughs> but if you are a campground camper kind of person, then no problem. Right. Yeah. Up to the spigot. But we don't have that. We just have gallon jugs. Yes. And yep. taking a bath is probably more important. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys look like you're all set then. Yeah. To be yeah. gone again. Holy. <laughs> yep. You and Nikki say, where's, or Nikki would say, where's mom? 
Uh, they're, they're gone they're again. Gone again. Yep. And it fits just right. And I see that there's more cubby space here for your guys' chairs. Mm-hmm. And a shovel. Um, yeah, and in this drawer, I like to keep all the stuff that we need to cook. Mm -hmm. The stove, um, the tea kettle for coffee water. Coffee, coffee. right on the top. Important. <laughs> um, our coffee cups. Our coffee... Uh, Filter stuff. Yep, filters. So we keep them all right in here so I don't have to go digging for it. Right. That's the issue I have in my trailers. My stuff is not easily as easily accessible as this. So this gives me ideas though for what I can do because I could build something like this under my bunk. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would be real nice, real handy. I, I like it. And I like that these are in little um, crates because it keeps mm -hmm. them from falling over. I know, these little crates, like you can get them at Walmart for like two for a dollar sometimes. <laughs> in all different colors. And then this rug up here keeps your stuff from sliding around. Sliding around, yeah. And this is just a cheap uh, rug that we got, again, from Walmart. Hmm. Nice. Very nice setup. Yeah. And that wi wire bin actually came out of the refrigerator. I recognized it. <laughs> <laughs> we don't use the in the... In the refrigerator. Yeah. yeah. So. That's it. Well, thank you for showing, showing yeah. me. I never, I didn't get to like see it up close. Yeah, it's pretty handy. It's good to know what to have on hand, how to separate and organi organize your pantry items, your cookware, um, your canned goods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when we go somewhere, um, I always shop and get fresh for three or four days. Mm -hmm. And then um, sometimes up to a week. And then we usually head in and hit a store. Mm -hmm. Or I always have these. And sometimes we travel late and I don't have time to cook. And that's why we have cans of chili, stuff you can just open and heat and up. And heat up. Yeah, that's And that rice cooker is good at doing that too, just heating stuff up. That's and, a really cool rice cooker. Yeah, I really like it. My family is, I would need two of those. Two or three of those. <laughs> but for two people, that's great. Well, that is a mini rice cooker. And you saw those little tiny cups. Mm -hmm. they, uh, they're they about a, between a half and three-fourths of a real cup. cup. Okay. So it cooks enough rice for one meal for the two of you? Yes. Okay. Just, yeah, for that meal. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad you came along because somebody asked, what yeah. does Linda have in her cook kit? Hmm. hmm. Yep, I had to come see it. Yeah. So thanks for showing me. You're welcome, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. I guess that's it, huh? Yeah, I guess that's it. So I hope this video helped. I, um, hopefully it helped my daughter. She usually helps me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It really helps us out. It gives us motivation. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah. Right? Oh, and <laughs> make sure you watch her channel too. She has a channel called Samurai Mama. And she does a lot of cooking and some makeup. And cooking in the house, though, mostly. <laughs> yeah. So, if yeah, you get a if chance... you need to know how to use sesame oil, follow my channel. Yes. <laughs> She's a great cook. Yeah. So, we'll see you on the next one. Bye. See you around. <laughs>